Hey everybody, how's it going? Like Butter here. Merry Christmas to you all. Uh, sorry I'm a few days late on the vendor reset video, but I actually tried recording it last night and it didn't work out. So regardless, we're going to be going through it and I wanted to make these videos a little bit more convenient for the viewer. So we're, I actually went through and saw like the things that I thought were necessary to check out. Now obviously if you want to check all the vendors you can do that, but if you're here you most likely want to see just the important stuff. So I have a couple of notes here on a notepad on my left screen. We're going to be just going to those checkpoints, but we're going to start here at the special equipment vendor in the terminal. If you don't know where the terminal is, it's on the left of the base of operations this is where you get to all your DLC stuff. Uh, let's check out what this special equipment vendor has. Now, usually he always has this historian, this liberator, uh, the Valkyria, Valkyria, however you say it. But so for sale this week, he has like a police TA-21 which is one of the weaker weapons in the game. They can't seem to make it uh, viable because of the low fire rate and the bad accuracy. Uh, custom P4, 16, 18% enemy armor damage, ferocious, unforgiving, and fierce. Not awful, you can roll brutal here, but not worth 1248. Uh, custom M870, the shotguns are pretty weak in this game. Uh, paratrooper SVD, nothing special. Classic RPK, 74. Uh, we have a Tenacious Mask here, 1242 damage to elites, burn resist if you need a Tenacious Mask. Uh, I will tell you, however, if you're doing a high-end build, hold off on that. I'm going to show you guys uh, another face mask that I think you guys are going to like a little bit more. Uh, Reclaimer, Ventilator, this is a good, a very good mask. It's got enemy armor damage and exotic already on it. 1259 firearms, you wouldn't even really have to roll anything on this. You can just grab it if you're doing like a, a, the Reclaimer healer build that a lot of people are running in the DZ currently. Um, robust chest piece, really bad rolls, wouldn't worry about that. Uh, nomad vest, very good. Ammo capacity, exotic, and armor, and a high stamina roll. I would roll for higher armor. This armor amount, you know, 1100, it's very low, uh, but you can roll for higher armor. That's a very good nomad chest piece if you're trying to get a jump start on your nomad build. Uh, Lone Star vest, this has very, very crap uh, rolls here. You got increased kill XP, low armor roll. Um, and low stamina roll. I wouldn't worry about that. Alpha Bridge this is actually not too bad. Um, if you're in dire need of an Alpha Bridge chess piece, this might be something you grab here. Roll out the health on kill for exotic damage resilience. Uh, Banshee Shadow chess piece. Um, Spect and Electronics, not great. Defense, uh, not great rolls as well. Operator Pack which is resourceful, all healing applied to you is also applied to your skill. That's pretty troll, there's no reason for that. If you need a Predator's Mark backpack though, 832 isn't a bad deal for this one. It has 816 armor already on it, bleed resistance. You can get away with not having uh, ammo capacity here because of the fact that you're going to be running most likely two different weapons with a Predator's Mark build. And uh, you could probably get away with not having that and just roll electronics for something else. Uh, accomplished knee pads, those have armor, enemy armor damage, and increased kill XP. These are very good knee pads if you're doing the farm uh, method that a lot of people are doing where you max out your increased kill XP, you get a one-shot sniper build, and then you just like absolutely blow through PvE content. This would be a very, very good uh, knee pad for you to pick up. I would roll it for uh, firearms though because you want to get as many firearms as you can. Tactician's Authority knee pads. Decent armor roll, but it's got increased kill XP and electronics. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, sentry call knee pads, also not great rolls. Final measure, I mean, who builds final measure these days? I'm just kidding. Actually, you'd be surprised. Final measure is, is actually a pretty useful build with how strong grenades are. You can completely screw over a team by defusing the nades and just getting them constantly. So keep that in mind there. As for the holsters... Uh, Strikers holster, I mean, not great rolls. Uh, decent rolls here for Hunter's Faith. You can roll this for higher firearms, not bad. Uh, you don't want anything besides Savage on these. Firecrest, like, but the rest of these are pretty garbage. So uh, let's go through. I mean, these uh, this Omega suppressor here is pretty good. 17.5% uh, headshot damage. This is what you want to run on most things. But uh, yeah, let's go check out what they have in the DZ checkpoints. I actually have them written down to which ones I want to show you guys. So this first checkpoint here is going to have an ACR. Now this ACR is probably the best assault rifle on sale in this vendor reset. 
Um, just to let you guys know, the ACR is very underrated. Like, I don't know why so many people think the ACR is, like, awful. It's definitely not awful. It, it's, uh, it's up there with some of the best assault rifles. It's very underrated. Um, and this has good rolls on it. It has responsive, deadly, and competent. You would roll deadly here for brutal. And this would be a very, very strong rifle for you to use. But just know that it's 416,000 DZ credits. That's kind of a lot. But uh, if it's something you need, definitely check it out there. So we're going to be going to DZ5 now. And in DZ5, there is a robust chess piece. Now, if you don't know what robust is, it's the high-end chess piece that gives you 10% uh, armor when you're in cover. This is a very good chess piece if you're doing like a cover build. Like I, I kind of wanted to make a build built around cover with like smart cover and stuff like that and see how much resilience you can get. Um, and it has the max amount of firearms. I've never seen an item roll for complete max, but this is the highest amount of firearms you can get. And it also has all the major attributes you want on your chess piece as well. So this would be something that you pick up definitely. I picked one up myself. Very, very useful, and uh, I'm happy that I did. So now there's two of the open world safe houses that I get, want you guys to check out. Now this first one is going to be the cavern. Now the reason I'm telling you to check out this safe house specifically is because of the farm that we were talking about. You want to get firearms, increase kill XP, uh, purple mods for when you're doing that farm method. And this has those uh, firearms mods here. So you scroll down here, prototypes, firearms mods, 6% increased kill XP, 204% firearms. Grab five of these. You want five of these, throw them in your stash. And these are the, the, uh, the mods that you're going to put on your build. Like you can see here, like I have a, you know, I have a face mask here. I have knee pads here. You see I have the purple mods. Those are the purple mods you want to get. There's no gold mods that have increased kill XP. So those are the ones that you want to pick up. And the, those farming methods are going to give you more chances to get the named items. So make sure to do that. And then the other one that we're going to check out here, I believe, is the firewall. So the firewall has a mask that I think you guys would be interested in. Um, now... I had a couple comments on my last video saying, I don't know why everyone says Tenacious is the best high-end mask, uh, Refreshed, and I forget the other one. I don't remember what the other one was called, but basically the argument was that Refreshed is a better high-end mask than Tenacious, so I decided to go and check it out. And uh, it turns out, like, I PvP'd yesterday, and Refreshed is amazing. So Refreshed is a talent where all healing is improved by 30% when in the last segment of health. Seeing that the medkits do a lot less than they used to, because if you remember, like, the medkits used to take other things into consideration when, like, healing, like, triage and, and that kind of thing, and you heal for a lot less than you used to. Um, so now getting that 30% extra while you're in that last segment of health, like everyone is doing so much damage with the enemy armor damage and the assault rifle combo, it, it turns out that you're in your last segment of health a lot. And being able to use that med kit and get that 30% extra heal is actually insane. I'm going to show you guys here in a second the difference, but I ended up buying this because it has max crit chance, and then you can just roll the minor attribute here for enemy armor damage, and that is a damn good high-end face mask, which you can see I'm, I'm actually using it here over my Pharaoh's mask. The Pharaoh's mask is really fun to use and whatnot, uh, but I really, really believe that Refreshed is a little bit better. So let's find our way out of here. I want to show you guys the difference in the healing. Also, if you are using uh, like booster shot or something like that and you end up using it while you're in your last segment of health, it's going to help you out a lot and it's going to it's going to heal you for a lot more. Like 30% more for the booster shot is going to be huge because you're getting resistance and you're getting value out of that healing as well. So just for an example here, uh, let's take off refreshed. I want to show you guys the difference. Um, actually, hold on. Let's let's put on another high end. Yeah, this is good. There's an NPC here. Let me just get him out of the way. Oh, there's a lot of NPCs. Okay, let's just let's remove these NPCs from the from the streets of New York, and then I'll show you guys. So this uh this it, what's kind of cool is like everyone is is kind of building damage, and what refresh does is it kind of rewards you for playing, uh. 
pl playing their game, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to throw uh, a couple grenades at myself, and we're going to get in our last segment of health here. I'm going to actually wait till I heal a little bit, because I want I don't want it to kill me. The first time I recorded this, it blasted me, and I went flying. So let's wait till we heal a little bit, and we'll throw another one. Okay, so just to show you guys, without refresh, this is how much I heal for. Okay, it's a good amount, like maybe like a segment and a half, I'd say. About a segment and a half, right? It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. So let's now put on refresh and show you guys the difference. It's 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 crazy, like it's a very big uh, noticeable difference. Like 30% is, is a good amount. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wait till we start healing again a little bit. And I'm gonna throw a nade and I'm gonna get my last segment of health. And uh, you're going to see the difference here. Big time. Okay, you can see that was over a segment in maybe a quarter. Something like that. Like an entire segment. Like before it was like, what, a half a segment or something? Or a segment and a half. That was like almost two segments there that it healed me for. So you can see the 30% is insane. Uh, let's try it now with booster shot. Oh shit, we don't have any frags. All right, let's let's go back in and grab some frag grenades. But you can see like refreshed, like 30% is crazy cuz if you think if you think about it, like on your heal, if you're healing for like 70,000 or something like that, you're going to be healing for like, I don't know, like 90,000 instead. Where is this safe house? Here we go. So, I think refreshed is pretty strong, especially in this meta with like the fact that you're always going to be shot into your last segment of health. And most likely, if they're shooting you, right, they're going to be almost at the end of their magazine once you pop it. And then you're going to have damage resistance. Like, the damage resistance from critical save is insane. Like, the, the, the idea now is with critical save being so strong, you're letting yourself get to the lowest segment of health anyways. Because you have the you have those reaction times to be able to pop it. So let's see here. Let's get into our last segment of health again, and we're gonna we're gonna pop booster shot. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Uh, let me actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll use it with refresh, and we'll go backwards, and you'll be able to see the difference that way. Okay. So that's how much my my booster shot did. My booster shot just filled me up for two segments of health two full segments now remember booster shot doesn't heal you for very much right so to have it like two segments of health from that like let me see uh how much it's supposed to heal me for so it's supposed to heal me for uh 80, 000. so 80,000 there and let's see how much health we have because we it, it healed us for two segments of health right so if we look at our health pool here 179,000 so it ended up healing us for way more than that 80,000 that it was supposed to heal us for it ended up healing us for about 160,000 which that's crazy that's insane well wait what's what's three three segments of 170k is what like 60,000 each yeah 79k 60,000 each so it healed us for 120,000 instead of 80,000 which is 30%, so it works out. So, yeah, you guys can see, like, uh, Refreshed is pretty strong. I think it will be a popular pick when it comes to high-end builds. Um, I don't know if it's good enough to kind of use instead of Savage and Barrett's if you're using, like, four-piece of, of another set. But I think for the high-end build that I do, it's, it's fantastic. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vendor video. And I will be posting another video later on today. Uh, I'm going to try to get some PvP or maybe some survival runs going. Because I need to step up my game here on YouTube. I haven't been posting like daily like I need to. And I just spent a bunch of money, a bunch of Christmas money on like new stuff for the setup and, and shit like that. So I'll have a setup video soon as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care, everybody.